Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really really well. Um, today I have lots of different things to share with you. These are a mix of makeup, well predominantly makeup um, and a bit of few things here and there. So yeah, let's get right into this. Let's start with perfume. Can we do that? Can we? Um, I usually start with makeup anyway, but I thought this time we would mix it up and start with perfume. Um, this time I only have one perfume to show you and, and I think this one trumps all the other perfumes I have um, and it's this one. This is the Coco Chanel. Um, I have to say, I think this is my first Chanel uh, perfume, so can we please have a round of applause for that? Um, I mean, amongst all the different perfumes I've ever owned, for some reason I've never had um, a Chanel one. This is the Coco uh, Mademoiselle Chanel and this is the new one they have at the moment. Um, the original one is, I think it's quite similar to this one. If you've ever smelt this, oh my god, it actually smells like a place in Paris. I don't know how to explain it to you. It honestly feels like you're like a really posh person, um, I don't know, driving around in Paris and going to art like galleries and posh dinners and all of that. It's just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and to be honest, you cannot go wrong with this. I've worn this uh, a few times since I've got it. Um, and it's the kind of perfume that leaves a trail when you when you like walk past someone. So please go and um, smell this because I swear to you, you will not be disappointed. It's absolutely beautiful. Next thing I have uh, is the completely opposite of the scale, I have to say. Um, and But I, I've been using it um, since I've got it and it's this. <laughs> It is a deodorant. It is the Dove 0% Aluminium uh, Pearl Touch. Now, all my life I've been using all kinds of deodorants. I use um, a stick, um, not the rollable one because sometimes I find I can be a bit sticky. Use that and then I top this um, off with it after I come out the shower. Um, the reason why I've actually started using the zero one is because I just thought if it's doing the same thing without the aluminium and all of you know that kind of scare then why shouldn't I? I use deodorant so so much. Like I do regular top ups um, and like I use it a lot but this um, Dove Pearl one, this Pearl, Pearl Touch one it's absolutely beautiful it's really really nice it has like a slight um i would say like a slightly powdery scent but i like it because it's soft um and it's not really intense that it would contrast with the perfume next thing i am going to mention is um it's, it's also a spray but it's not for your body it's for your face um this is the Continuous Setting Mist from Morphe. Now this has been around for, I want to say, quite some time now and I'm slightly late to the party. However, I'm so glad that I'm at the party now because this is an absolute game changer. It is a setting spray but you can also use it throughout the day to refresh your face. I have it on my skin at the moment as well. I use it every day now since I've got it. So many different YouTubers have raved about it and I don't understand why I didn't get it. To be honest though, a few times I tried to get it, it was out of stock everywhere. So luckily I found it from Morphe's actual website. It does come in like a mini travel size one, which you can always buy. Um, with this, what this does is, it does set your makeup, but then if you have, let's say, like a really heavy coverage foundation and you've powdered your whole face, and your face just looks a bit one-dimensional, you put this on top, your, how do I say it? It just fixes your, your makeup's look in a very weird way. I highly recommend it. Please go and check. I don't use setting sprays a lot, and I haven't in the past a lot. But this is one this is one that I actually have started using on an everyday basis and I can't get enough of it. To the same face area we have this which is which is this um, and this is the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution. I had my qualms with this, I'm not gonna lie. 
I actually thought this would not do anything to my face. Um, I do get like clogged pores on my nose around my like around my nose on the top of my nose, and that's the main area that I usually get like spots and stuff like that if it's really congested. Um, but then I find that the toners I use are very very drying and they slightly sting. This one, however. Is absolutely beautiful I don't use it all the time they do say that you should not use it more than once a day um, and I usually only use it at night so once I completely cleanse my face I use my toner all over the uh, face and the neck don't forget the neck um, and then I moisturize and then I go to sleep what this does it, it cleans your pores you can actually feel it's cleaning however it doesn't draw out any moisture so it keeps your skin very moisturized it keeps it clean um, you can actually feel that um, any dry patch that you had on your face or any areas that are of concern in terms of like pores um, spots and stuff they do clear up very, very quickly I don't have a particularly spotty face um, but if you do start using this it might help you I mean I'm no dermatologist but it's helped me so if your skin is anything like mine then please do check this out on to the good stuff um, and on to makeup the first thing I want to mention is I think I've mentioned this before but I want to mention it again because I absolutely love it and it's this so this is the Pat McGrath um, highlighter and balm duo so it's a highlighter from one end so this is the highlighter which is literally gold and then on this side you've got the balm to put on top um, I have this on my skin at the moment and the one thing that I absolutely love about this and which is completely different to the other ones is first of all it's like easy to carry secondly you can put this balm on top of foundation like I have today and it doesn't disturb your foundation whatsoever it's it doesn't give you like a highlight highlight it like gives you a sheen can you see that it's absolutely beautiful it is gorgeous on the skin it gives you a sheen so if during the day if you want to wear it and you don't want it to be like in your face use it without the balm just use it with your fingers and tap it onto your highlight uh, on your high on your cheekbones and other areas that you want to highlight and then if you're going out on like if you're going out and you want to maybe amp it up then you add the balm on top and it is beautiful it catches the light so so nicely but the next thing that i want to mention is a concealer this is the kiko concealer i have this on my face at the moment as well this is the active concealer the one i have color i have is 01 um it's 7.5 ml which is 0.25 fluid ounces you need the tiniest amount literally the tiniest amount on this I have this on my um, it, on my eyes at the moment as well and let me tell you I have this on without a corrector and you know how dark my under eyes are and it still covered it absolutely beautifully it blends in like a dream it sets amazingly I mean throughout the day it's absolutely amazing it's really brightening I honestly don't know why I haven't tried this before I have tried other Kiko products um, in one of my recent videos so if you would like to watch that I can link it here for you and you can go and check it out but this is absolutely beautiful I mean it's it is a very it's a thick consistency if you can see and when you put it on your skin it has it has a, like a slight peachy tint to it which is why it blends into your skin and it looks like it covers your um, darkness very very easily can you see that how beautifully that's actually blended in into the skin you can't detect it it's really really nice and I just use my fingers the next thing I want to mention is also from Kiko uh, they're doing very well for themselves these days <laughs> and it's um, this so this is their blush called smart uh, I think it's called smart it's called smart color blush it's zero five I'm not really sure what that means you know what it's, it's it's a blush that they have and it's just so beautifully pigmented they've got so many different colors in this um, but the color I have is this one and I've got it on my face at the moment as well it's really nice it's really really highly pigmented like honestly it is beautiful 
it blends in beautifully onto your skin I've actually used this with my finger so like I tapped it like this and I put my blush on like this with my fingers and it just blends in really nicely even though it's a powder I don't know how they've done it but it's absolutely beautiful it blends into your skin really nicely this color in particular is really good for the summer but it's like a, a mid peach and pink color so um, I think it will be really good for all skin types and all skin colors and yeah you get so much and it's really easy to carry as well it's a tiny one but it's beautiful I've only got three more things left how did this happen and um, oddly enough all three of them are lips so first one I want to go ahead with is the one I have on my lips at the moment and it is this beautiful thing from Fenty it is um, Fenty's a uh, lip paint in the core in the color called underrated like I said I mean it's I, I love it I absolutely love it I have two of her colors this is actually the mini one and to be honest I mean you can get like the mini ones as well they you don't need a lot of them to apply anyway so and it's you get more for your I mean you get you don't get more for your money but you know if you're on a budget and you don't want to buy the whole um, the full size one this is absolutely fine so um, the good thing that I like about these is the application tip is so so different and it's so lovely because you can actually draw in your lip uh, with this slanted tip and you just draw it in that's exactly what I've done um, I do use lip liner however um, even if you don't if you don't use the lip liner you can absolutely use the tip of that to um, ensure that you have like a really nice crisp line and then you blend it in it stays on for a long time you can't feel it on your lips um, it is I wouldn't it's not completely moisturizing it is obviously a lip paint so it's slightly drying but to be honest it doesn't really bother me because it doesn't flake off it's just it's not like um, it's not creamy but it doesn't fade off like that either I have another color in this which is like the red one I don't remember what the name is um, but I was out of the two this is my favorite one it's like a really dark plummy um, purple color and yeah I absolutely love it the last two things are uh, again completely opposite side of the spectrum um, and uh, and also in terms of like consistency and it's these two beautiful things so these are the lip glosses from Maybelline these no you know what I am not a lip gloss person per se uh, until I got these ones so these and the Fenty Beauty ones that I have are can be convert these are only two lip glosses I have um, I don't use lip gloss on an everyday basis and I don't, I'm not like a lip gloss kind of person um, but I still really like these so um, these are the lifter glosses from Maybelline these are this is what they look like um, they have different colors obviously the colors I have is stone and petal this is stone uh, let me do like a small swatch for you the um, applicator is absolutely huge so this is stone which is like a nudie brownie color and look at that beautiful sheen it's so comfortable on the lips um, I will say though on my hand it looks like very pigmented when you put it on your lips they are pigmented they are they're not like a sheer cover I would say they're like a medium kind of medium coverage um, it's looking much more pigmented on my hand than it than do than they do on the lips and um, this one is petal which is like a pinky one um, this is like a pinky pinky brownish one so this is so this is petal and this is stone again on on the lips they look slightly toned down and only because obviously your lips are not going to be as pale as your skin they are pigmented on their own as well so um, these glosses you can absolutely put on top of your lipstick however you can wear them on their own as well and they will still definitely give you a certain amount of pigmentation on the lips so they're very good for everyday wear they are not sticky whatsoever they're, they're, they would i would call them like a liquid balm it, they are absolutely beautiful very very moisturizing they do stay on the lips for quite long and if you haven't tried them please do please do try them they have loads of different colors you can go and see which one suits you and yeah I absolutely love them. And that's it guys. Those are all of the things I have been loving so far. Please do give this a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. It's absolutely free. Doesn't cost you a penny. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.